So this is going to be a very hand wavy video about laser interferometers. Um, a little while ago, I re-watched um, Ben's uh, video over on Applied Science about uh, laser diode self-mixing. So uh, he demonstrated using a laser diode that had a, a photo receiver in there as well in the same package. So you have a laser transmitter and a photo detector all in one uh, convenient package for doing current regulation and, and various things. Uh, and you can use that receiving diode um, to get an, uh, an interferometer uh, out of a simple uh, laser with just a reflector and no special optics. Um, so the idea is you have some transmitted wave coming out of the laser, it reflects off a target, bounces back to the laser, and is mixed either in the lens or right at the diode or at the receiver. Uh, either way, the, the light waves interact and either complement or cancel each other out. So you get a variation on the output. So if you move one of the two endpoints, either the transmitter slash receiver or you move your mirror, you will get some change in intensity at the transmitter. So, he also mentioned using the uh, transmit diode as the receiver. So, using a laser that doesn't have uh, one of those uh, uh, receiving diodes. So, one of these little simple lasers you can get online for, oh geez, here you can, if you buy a few, they're like 50 cents now. They're pretty simple. Just a bare diode and a and a, uh, a resistor. There's no fancy current regulation in here whatsoever, as far as I know, anyway. Maybe it's buried up in there, and I have no idea. As far as I know, this is basically an LED. Um, but it still lasers. It is phase-coherent polarized light. So, the question was, if I power a laser directly, just through a resistor, and have the light waves travel out and back in, will they mix at the laser and somehow change its impedance such that that can be detected as a voltage change at the output? So just like having some resistive sensor in series with a resistor to form a voltage divider, we change, say, if this is a thermistor, then change temperature, you'll get a variation in voltage here. Or if this is a photoresistor, you'll change the intensity, you'll get a voltage out here. Uh, or a variation out here. So the question was, does this work? Is this too difficult to pull off? And I managed to do it um, just with some simple op-amp gain stages. So lots of gain, about 41,000 times gain, but nothing really that difficult. Um, I'm using an MCP6004 op-amp, so just about one of the cheapest op-amps you can get. Um, they're something like 50 to 70 cents a piece very well behaved rail to rail off amp but very very cheap and uh, power supply is nothing special I'm just using a uh, 7805 uh, running off a 12 volt battery uh, so I don't get any ground loops I uh, don't mind the microcontroller that does nothing it's just living on the breadboard and then yeah some op amps um, looks like a mess but it, it really is just that you know plus some implied stuff like ground references, blah blah blah. But really that's it. And uh, I, I, what I also have going against me is this terribly long wire that runs all the way from the breadboard down to the photodiode, or, or a laser diode, which is mounted in the chuck of my lathe. And then over here on the parting tool I've temporarily put a little mirror. And, uh, yeah, I aimed everything up to get an interferometer. So, uh... There's our beam. Not really aimed particularly well either, just kind of... quickly thrown together. And, yeah.
Wavelength of this laser should be around 650 nanometers. So every 325, that wiggle goes up and down once. So these knobs just move the, that moves the carriage back and forth, and that one will move the laser back and forth. sensitive or if I just just push on the bed of the lathe even that's enough to flex it many 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 cycles so exactly how practical this is I'm not really sure um, one of the problems is I found at least with my setup maybe future iterations will be better uh, I really really am overdriving that laser uh, it's running at about 30 to 40 milliamps, kind of fiddled with a few different resistors. Right now it's on 75 ohms off of 5 volts. Um, it's like 2.5 volts forward ish. So, yeah, around 30, 35 uh, milliamps or so, which is kind of a lot. It does warm up. Um, and I know these lasers don't last all that long either, especially running this overdriven. So, I don't know how long a device like this will last. Uh, possibly doing things like constant current driving and uh, differential inputs and a better design front end and amplifier and all that you could, might be able to make it work with um, lower driving current but so far I found I needed to push a lot of current into that diode but it does work It's a lot of fun to play with. Anyway, don't know what much more I could say other than, yeah, the um, single diode transmit and receive concept does work and it's not all that hard to pull off. I had something making squeaks in about an hour, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Yeah, give it a shot. If you have if you have some of these El Cheapo lasers lying around, then try it out. See what happens. You might make an you might make yourself a vibrometer. This does work as a laser mic. Anyway, good day.